What's going on guys? This is Martyrs Brigade 99 coming to you once again with another session of Dark Souls commentary. Alright guys, so um, I'm pretty sure that some of you guys may know by now that, um, I don't know, yesterday maybe, last night, I uploaded a video about um, basically showing no love to the 4040 builds. Right. And honestly, I got a lot of good comments. A lot of those good comments actually included some of the ones who disagreed with me. Right. So some of the arguments that I heard in reading the comments was that the information was dead wrong because I used the 4040 broadsword. I mean, the um, uh, the plus 10 broadsword in the left hand. Their argument was, well, you're going to get a 20% damage reduction anyway. So in other words, it invalidates your data. Well, keep in mind, this is the broadsword in my right hand, 269. Fire, 279. Lightning, 278. Even if you want to make the argument that... Um, you know, you get a 20% damage reduction, it's still weaker, consistently weaker. And what I'm going to demonstrate next, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go all the way down to base stats for the long sword. For the long sword, I think you need 10 strength and like 9 decks. And I'm going to show the difference between um, the 10 and 9, you know, the basic stat requirements. And the 4040 basic stat requirements. So, in other words, when you really look at the basic requirements for a plus 10 longsword, it's not even going to be that much of a difference despite investing 68 soul levels uh, into both. Well, actually, despite investing 34 soul levels into strength and 34 soul levels into dexterity. So either way go, even if the first test was slightly off, it still doesn't disprove the fact that plus 10 weapons at 4040 do less damage than elemental weapons. Now, I want you guys to look at the upper right hand corner where it says right hand weapon. As I said before, so at this point I'm trying to figure out because I forgot. I said, you know what? I forgot to figure out what the minimum stat requirements for a longsword. And it's 10 strength, 9 dexterity. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and go through all the talk. Okay. Now, at 4040, my right hand AR is 330. At minimum stats, a plus 10 is 267. So in other words, it's only an increase of 63 AR. Now, keep in mind, I started off as a deprived class, 6 in strength, 6 in dexterity. In order for me to get 40-40, I had to invest 68 soul levels. The increase in AR, however, is only 63. So in other words, I'm getting less than one AR increase per soul level investment. What is the whole incentive behind going 40-40? There's really no incentive, which is why I can understand why so many people are using hex builds, intelligence builds, faith builds, and pyromancies because you get a better benefit. Now, I want you guys to keep another thing in mind. I hope you guys remember the um, damage that I inflicted with my 40-40 uh, longsword. And I want you guys to notice the difference. I'm going all the way down to base stats. Now, you already see that the AR difference is only around 63. But, just in case some of you guys may have forgotten, when I did the first test, I think my hit with a, uh, I think the hit with the longsword at 4040 was somewhere around 278. That may be off. If that's incorrect, just go ahead and rewind a little bit and just look at the first test wherein I, um, you know, struck uh, S Mad X with my 4040 longsword. I think it's like 278 or something like that. Now I'm going to base stats 10 strength, 9 dexterity base stats plus 10 weapons and you guys are going to notice that the damage that I inflict on him like the difference is only like 60 points or something 
So in other words, it is far better for me to just find the uh, weapon that I want or weapons that I want. Only invest enough strength and dexterity to be able to use it at the minimum, the bare minimum. And then you can basically either infuse them or you can buff them. And either way it goes, you're going to do far better than a 4040, which is totally backwards. Totally backwards. And like I said before, the reason now while I'm talking, please pay attention to the numbers. Now, like I said, the main reason why I'm giving them a big deal about this is because we had this issue in the original Dark Souls. There is no reason why we should have this same issue revisit us. If because granted we may have a new director but you can't convince me that you have a whole new staff you can't convince me of that now keep in mind 190 the first time I did this test with a 4040 I think it was like 270 okay so that's I don't know 70 or 80 points despite making a 68 soul level total investment uh, into strength and dexterity why would I even invest all those soul levels like why would I do that I'm only seeing a 70 point difference. 190. 239. 238. No matter how you guys may want to spin it, the results are consistently the same. Even if pure physical was on the same level as elementals, Either way it go, it still doesn't make, uh, it really doesn't make any sense to invest points into strength and dexterity. So, you know, once again, I thank you guys for pointing that out and saying, hey, Brigade, I mean, your information is kind of off because you're swinging with the left weapon. And it caused me to go back around, redo the whole build, and put all the weapons in the right hand because they say that you get the most benefit out of swinging from the right hand. So e either way. The results are still the same. At best, you're going to get equal. At best. But even if you get equal, like, why would I even go invest 4040 when I can basically put points in intelligence, points in faith? I can have buffs in addition to having miracles, pyromancy, and spells that can almost one shot you. Like, in other words, there's no incentive, at least up to this point, to go a pure melee build, no castings no incentive because you can buff elemental weapons you know they're stronger than pure melee weapons even when you invest 40 40 and if a lot of you guys don't understand 40 40 that was a level of diminished returns in past souls uh, in past souls games both demon souls and dark souls so that's why i keep saying 40 40 so if you're going to get a higher ar higher damage inflicted and you can buff on top of that where is the incentive to go 40 40 like why even invest in anything other than the bare minimum for the weapons that you want to pick okay so now keep in mind as you guys seen i have my strength and dexterity bare minimum and i invested 38 i have uh, 38 into intelligence and 38 into faith now keep in mind um Lightning weapons and fire weapons. Oh, actually, let me take that back. Lightning weapons get a benefit from increasing your points into faith, right? So either way it goes, because I even heard some of you guys say, well, you know, even though you're going elemental, you know, you're still getting some strength and dexterity uh, boosts. Okay, well, elemental weapons are getting all kind of boosts, because think about it. They get elemental, but they still get strength dexterity boosting, which is kind of small, but you still get a boosting. And even if you uh, don't invest into strength and dexterity, fire is still going to get a benefit from uh, investing souls into intelligence. And lightning weapons will still get a benefit. They will still get a benefit from investing points into faith. So either way, go. You cannot go wrong while using elemental weapons. This is totally backwards. Totally backwards. So once again. I thank all the guys who left me comments saying that you were wrong because you had the uh, uh, the 4040 uh, plus 10 broadsword in the left hand. You should have had it in the right hand because you get a 20% damage reduction. Once again, as you guys can see for yourself, that 20% damage reduction 
Steel does not make a difference. Steel does not make a difference. The plus 10 on a 4040 still consistently does less damage and have a lower AR than do elemental weapons. And on top of that, you can buff. So that's pretty much it. We're just, I mean, we're just ending this. Um, shout out to S. Mad X. I know some of you guys may be familiar with him uh, from Dark Souls, not only in the Moonlight Butterfly Force, but he was in a few videos of mine. So shout out to him. I caught him kind of early this morning. I'm like, hey, man, can you help me out? I need some help. So uh, he was willing to help me out. So thanks to him. So once again, I mean, um, if you guys are seeing any information that I'm putting out in his off, Please feel free to do what they did in my last video. Call me out on it. And as long as it's a you know, as long as it's a respectful comment, I'll double check it. I'll check it myself just like I did this time. So, you know, like I said, thanks for everyone who pointed that out like brigade. Dude, you're just kinda off. Well thanks. Because now that I have redone the test, it still affirms everything that I said. There is no incentive to go 44. All right, guys. Well, until next time, Martyr's Brigade is.